Hey everyone, today's video is about when you get cold so they cuddle you and keep you warm. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. The evening air outside was crisp as you walked back to the dorms with Katsuki Bakugo and Ijiro Kirishima, your two boyfriends. The temperature dropped significantly as the sun set and now despite the jacket that you were wearing, you can't stop shivering. Your breath comes out in small, visible puffs and you huddle deeper into your coat, trying to stay warm. Kirishima notices first. He always does. His sharp eyes flicker towards you, concern evident in his gaze. Babe, are you cold? He asks, his voice gentle as he wraps a muscular arm around your shoulders, pulling you closer to his side. Before you can answer, Bakugo hops from your other side, clearly annoyed at something. You should have worn a thicker jacket. He grumbles, though his arm immediately finds its way around your waist, tugging you close to him. You know it's getting colder at night. You let out a small laugh, leaning into their warmth, grateful for their concern, despite Bakugo's slightly rough tone. I thought this would be enough. You admit, teeth scrattering, slightly. But I guess I underestimated how cold it would get. Kirishima chuckles his breath warm against your ear. Well, good thing you've got us down, huh? We'll warm you up in no time, babe. Bakugo rolls his eyes, but there's a softness to his expression that he doesn't bother to hide. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get back to the dorms before you turn into an ice block. When you finally reach the dorms, the warmth of the building washes over you, but it's not enough to chase away the chill that settled deep into your bones. You kick off your shoes, shivering slightly as you peel off your jacket. Bakugo and Kirishima are quick to take notice. Without a word, Kirishima grabs your hand and leads you to the couch in the common room. He's grabbed gentle but firm. Bakugo follows behind, his hands already reaching out to pull the blanket from the back of the couch. Kirishima sits down first, patting his lap invitingly. Come here, babe, he says with a warm smile, his voice like a soothing balm to your chilled skin. Let us take care of you. You didn't need to be told twice. You crawl onto his lap, straddling his thighs as his strong arms wrap around you, enveloping you in his warmth. His chest is solid and comforting, and you can feel the heat radiating off of him, already starting to seep into your cold skin. Bakugo... Ever the grumbler sits down beside the two of you, throwing the blanket over all three of you before pulling you closer to his side. He presses his body against yours, his heat seeping through your cloth, and you can't help but relax between them. Damn it, you're freezing. He mutters, his voice, gruff but filled with concern. His hands wrap up and down your arms, trying to generate more warmth. Kirishima leans in, his lips brushing against your temple. We'll help you warmed up in no time. Just relax, okay? You nod, closing your eyes as you bask in their warmth, feeling the tension slowly leave your body. Kirishima's hands were rubbing soothing circles on your back, and Bakugo's hands were still working on your arms, but there's a tenderness in his touch that makes you feel completely safe. Feel better? Kirishima asks after a few moments, his voice soft in your ear. You nod, nuzzling your face into the crook of his neck. Yes, much better. You murmur, feeling more content than you have all day. Bakugo snores beside you. Well, you're lucky we're here to take care of you, Damas. He says, though the teasing wet, and his voice makes it clear that he's not really upset. You smile, tilting your head to look at him. I know. You reply softly. I'm really lucky to have you both. Kirishima's arms tighten around you slightly, and you feel Bakugo's hand slide up to cuff your cheek, his thumb brushing over your skin. His red eyes, usually so fierce, soften as he looks at you. Damn right you are, he says, and there's a tenderness in his tone that makes your heart melt. We're not letting you go, you hear me? You chuckle softly. 
leaning into his touch. I wouldn't dream of it. Kirishima grins, pressing a soft kiss to your forehead. Well, that's good then. He says, his voice filled with affection. Because we're never letting you get cold again, either. You feel a warmth spread through your chest, a warmth that has nothing to do with their body heat, and everything to do with the love that you feel for them. You are surrounded by their warmth, their love, and in that moment, you know that no matter how cold the world gets, you'll always have them to keep you warm. The three of you stay like that for a long time, wrapped up in each other, in the warmth and comfort of your love. Eventually, that chill in your bones melts away completely, replaced by a deep sense of contentment that only comes from being with the people you love most. And as the minutes pass, the warmth from Bakugo and Kirishima's bodies completely envelops you, melting away the last remnants of cold. You snuggle deeper into Kirishima's chest, his heart beat a steady, comforting rhythm against your ear. Bakugo's hand hasn't left your cheek, his touch grounding and familiar. Kirishima leans back slightly, adjusting you so that you're more comfortably seated on his lap. His gaze meets yours, and his lips curl into a soft smile, one that reaches his eyes and makes them sparkle in the dim light of the common room. You know, Kirishima says, his voice low and a little playful. We could stay here all night if you want. Just the three of us, under the blanket. Bakugo rolls his eyes, though there's no real annoyance in his expression. What a sap. He mutters, but his son is affectionate, and he doesn't make any move to get up. You laugh slowly feeling a wave of happiness wash over you. That sounds perfect. You agree. Shifting slightly so that you were nestled between the both of them. Just the three of us. Bakugo's eyes narrow as he looks at you, his hand moving from your cheek to thread through your hair. He pulls you closer. You better appreciate this, you know. It's not every day I get all soft and cuddly. We know, man. Kirishima snickers. You're all tough and scary, but deep down, you're just a big softy for Wyon. He grins at Bakugo. He tilts your head up to meet Bakugo's gaze. I do appreciate it. Both of you. I'm really lucky to have you guys. Damn right you are. Your heart swells with emotion, and you lean into their touches, feeling overwhelmed by the love and care that they were giving you. And just like that, with a contented sigh, you close your eyes, feeling completely safe and loved between them. Their warmth surrounds you, pulling you into a peaceful sleep. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.